thing nice about this is that uh, I can use the Mall of Briars again. I have to be careful because uh, this cane toad is kind of nasty and I don't want to fight it without any MP. So what I might do... this way put on our old EV ring pull up these bad boys and Oh, it's magic dark. I wanted to try Mystic Blast. Is that increased in range now? It's now three. Oh, is it just? Oh, is it? What? What? Oh, all nearby monsters. Oh. Well, that is interesting. Didn't even read that. Going with some VS feels so wrong. That's. Yeah, I don't. We didn't. I, we saw a Wu Jian altar, not a No Sculptor. But Fedas was a D2 altar, so. And plus, like, Fedas of Vine Stalker is highly thematic. Yeah, I, I, that's probably how I need to use it. I need to see if it would actually cause penance. Fedas should not do that, so that's a bug either way. Either it does cause penance and that's penances and that's a bug, or it doesn't and the UI prompt is buggy. No, actually I don't want invo. I want Go up to ten. It's my Arlek if I want it. First shaft of the game. 
Looks like we got shoals. How many basilisks am I going to fight? Um, you know, it probably isn't, but um, I'm going to be getting, I guess spellcasting is, it's no longer like mitigating what was, you know, what you might face of spell hunger. Given that I have hunger, I would have hunger spells for what I'm casting anyway. There's some spell book. Oh, oh yeah, Yara's isn't too. There's animate skeleton, which actually is good. And a port, which is also good. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think the difference will matter too much for me right now. Um, one benefit of HP is that um, since I am using MP pretty readily is that HP does not depend on whether or not I've been using MP. So it's not, they're not completely symmetric. This is a good time to use a Ballisto. I really love this positioning. This this is a little bit better now. Get wrecked. I had to use both abilities because I was worried about it. Uh, thank you for the follow. Leaky. Leaky. I don't know how you pronounce that, actually. To keep it, to keep it. Why do I keep getting all these hexes? Oh, now how are you going to do that? I need to decide what this character is going to become. Because uh, CJ book doesn't scale incredibly well. I'm still casting Searing Ray an awful lot. I have IMB, but that spell is like...
pretty close range spell. No, actually, I do have. Can I? S oh. I have not been using uh, Fulman and Prism at all, I realize, which is definitely not correct. Uh, no, I don't want translocations. Evo, no, don't want Invo right now. Dodging is a little bit tough for me to train, but I can probably get to 8 okay. Maybe unnecessary, but oh well. Or mutation, let's see. Vision blurs, that's not so hot. Just into heat, robust, vision sharpens, weaker, less dense. I don't really care about weak, innate RF, some dex. What should I care about my helmet? Let's try one more, why not? Ooh, wild magic is good. Yeah, I'll go for this. Just gotta watch when I use melee. Whoa. Oh, I got shafted again. Okay. Well, that was sort of unfortunate. All right, one sec, I'm gonna take a bathroom break and I'll be back in you know, just five minutes and then apparently I can die to a Hydra. I don't think I have any, I don't really have a lot of scrolls identified here because I haven't found much. Well, I have a three stack and a two stack, so that's kind of on me, I guess, but either way. I can obviously make a wall of briars, but I don't, you know, I'm going to have to spend a turn, and that is a Hydro with seven heads, so that's kind of nasty. I could uh, Mystic Blast, but... problem with that is if I either miscast... Yeah, I mean, if I either miscast or if it doesn't push it back successfully... Also, I can, I'll eat, uh, I have RC right now, so that's, that's at least helpful. I need a gap for the Hydra to create briars, but it's a little bit scary. 
I also don't have a lot of potions. I haven't. I just haven't gotten too much identify, I guess. But I also have neglected to read a couple of scrolls. That's on me. I guess we'll give it a shot. Let's try a Mystic Blast. Well, that blew him back. There we go. The Wall of Briars. Teleport. Okay, I like this a lot better than what, where we were, at least. That's a magic map. Problem is... Well, that's weird. It won't actually even let me go up. That's bizarre. So I don't know what I'll run into if I do go up. On the other hand, this is a completely wide open level, so... This guy, that would be great. That's pretty good. Okay. We did it. <clears throat> yeah, I do have Lig. It was a little bit risky. The IMB didn't really work out super great. I just went and made Briars and kind of Hail Married, but shows you that Briars are pretty good. Okay, there's Fog, so my random scroll reading wouldn't have worked out so hot had I done that. But yeah, that shows you with IMB, there's this relationship between the size of the monster and spell power. Mm -hmm. I do have, I mean, I have Lig, but with Lig, I'm stuck in place. I mean, it's not like I'm just instantly going to be immune to Hydra damage. Um, the problem with Lig in my potential plays is like, maybe that buys me enough time to Ballisto the Hydra, but it, it was like a completely wide open level. Um, if you look at this level, it was like... So I'm going to attract a billion things with those Ballisto Explosions. I don't know what what it's going to pull in. And there's a Seven-Headed Hydra. I got pretty lucky with IMB. Um, it, it managed to hit me. I don't know if it pushed it back a turn or what, but I don't think it did. Otherwise, it would have not, not gotten any hits in. But my EV is fairly decent. I mean, it's not great, but it's there. Either way, I just didn't take all that much damage from the Hydra, so I elected to use the Briars and finagle that, and it worked okay. Yeah, it has an interaction with the size of the creature and the spell power. Like, more spell power means you can push back more, but the Hydra you saw didn't even move back. I actually should go back and look at the log, though. I don't think it misses. I should, uh, I don't know if it's too far back or what. Let's see. Fringe fire match. Let's see, misses. Jump two floors. Hydra and Rhyme Jake. Hits the Rhyme Drake. Hits the Hydra. Lightly wounded. Yeah, so it just didn't push it back. Um. And then it, I actually got really good rolls that first turn. And not too bad the second turn either when I, when I made the, uh, I wonder how close it was to dying. Either way, there was some randomness there. And yeah, I am the pushback is like, I feel if you don't get, like you can see I've been leveling Int and training a decent amount of Conj. I'm only at 50% spell power, but you kind of have to have fairly high spell power to be reliable with the pushback. I don't know, maybe that's something that should be buffed to some extent for that spell, I'm, given where it's sitting in the book power level wise. Could be a thing that needs to be improved. It was a problem with Force Lance too, as I recall. It made me not use that spell quite so much.
Well, get wrecked. Ballistos are pretty strong. Just took down an eight-headed Hydra mostly with one of those. How Zombin treating you? I get it. <clears throat> it's a combo word joke. I get it. That's how you take down Hydras with this, with that ability, by the way. Try to get them sort of out. I didn't do a particularly good job with that last one, but try to get them sort of out of the way. Especially don't put them in the path of the Hydra that, so that it's going to bite through them to, to walk to you because it'll just destroy them. But, um... Uh, kind of like sort of put them off into the side, if you will. I haven't been using it, it's true. I've been sort of forgetting about it. It's it's not a bad spell. Um, the noise is sort of like a problem given its damage output, but for the right situations, it's it's not terrible, I guess. I mean, it's like I use Fireball, and Fireball I think is louder, or at least as loud as Prism is. Probably really good if you can set up blink frogs to hit it. Case in point. Ooh, another stave. Sure, I'm gonna need that RN, but sure. First ghost fault. Is this an E bearing ghost fault? It's got a file and a tin. Wow. Got ourselves a fire elementalist. Who also has throw icicle? There we go. The old out of low damage. Definitely something that Prism would be very good for. Some nice supplemental damage for sure. Can I hit him like not really? I 
That's one way to choose it. So that's near that Komodo, which I don't really want to return to. Ballisto's here when I have a little bit more control over this situation. got a Sklotten. Well, I guess uh, I thought I would get a little bit more returns out of all that piety, but it was just the one Hydra, really. Oh, shh. I really did not want to do that. Well... Oops, now I'm down to two stars. I miskeyed there. Oh, really? Does Acquire Pole still work? Oh, see, Acquire Pole is useless now. Wow. Staff of Conj looks pretty nice. All the Stairs Intoxication, Lightning Spire, Rare Blood. I'm probably going to go for the Conj Staff. Because, uh, I mean, Lightning Spire is really good and all, but I don't have any of those skill trains. I can already make summons. Put this on B so I can swap to it if I want to whack something over the head. Here's our boy, the Hydra. Yeah, probably one is enough given the spell damage I can also turn out, so. Oh, and we still look at this. 